Hey everybody, it's Ninja Mom here, and I am finally here with that uh, review and a small haul. This is my first time ordering um, through Life Road Candle Shop. I am so sorry about the glare. You're going to hear me say it a lot, especially when I film during the early morning hours um, when it's quiet. So, um, this is a company owned by Nate Berry. He is a 12-year-old boy who reached out to me through here and asked me if I would like to review some of his products from his company that he um, has. It's a very small company. It's just him, 12, who makes these by himself. He makes candles, soaps, wax melts. It He does amazing. I'm just so driven and blown that a 12 year old is taking those steps, you know, like for a hobby to have a business and stuff at 12. <laughs> so, um, I think that's really, really cool and super admirable. And I am super excited about supporting small businesses and the fact that, um, he's so young and he already knows what he wants to do. That is so awesome to me. So I am very excited to be his first non family customer who has purchased an order from him. Very excited by that. And, um, he sent extra stuff like extras. So, um, now you guys keep in mind that when this is a 12 year old child, um, who did this and he's just starting out, but I will tell you this, it came in this box inside of this bag and he had it all like wrapped with tissue paper very well. He had some beautiful rose gold, um, kind of metallic tissue paper that he had the clamshells wrapped up in. Each one of the clamshells was also individually wrapped. Um, like it was crazy. He really, really went all out on display. He did not send a business card yet. Um, he doesn't have labels or any of that stuff really yet. So, um, he's very new and I'm super excited. Like, so the, we're going to talk about the extra stuff that I found inside the box. This is his soap. You guys, he makes right here. And here was the little label free soap. I don't know what this one is. It smells really good. It smells like a kind of like a, a minty beachy scent or a clean mint scent, but it is very pretty like, and I'm super excited to be able to use this. So that was one of the small soap samples that he sent. And that's not even small. That's a good size piece of soap, y'all. Then he sent two extra little shapes. This is a cute little pine cone, as you guys can see. It is in some type of a pine cone kind of manly scent. It's not quite my scent, but I do know other people that will enjoy it. Um, and I would love to be able to get this kid stuff out there for people to try so that they can see, um, these are really strong. Like this one is very, very strong of masculine kind of woodsy scent. This one is very, very strong too. It's kind of got the same, same thing going on, just a little different, but they're very strong. This is a cute little beehive and you can even see the little bees and stuff on it. Super adorable. Okay, this was a free clamshell that he sent you guys. So this is what his labels look like. He wrote it in. It says free dream sickle. Look at his wax. Like this kid. And it smells really nice. So This is not anything out of the ordinary, having a little bit of a harder time getting the wax to come out of a clamshell. I see this with even like big vendors. This is a good, soft, nice wax. I will say that it is a softer type wax. It smells really, really good, you guys. It smells like a very, it's a very creamy kind of light orange creamsicle. It's more creamy then orange and that is really really nice then this is blueberry muffin cotton candy i 
I can smell that as soon as you pop the lid. Like you can smell this really, really yummy blueberry muffin as soon as you pop the lid of it. This one is super strong and it smells like a really juicy, succulent, slight sweeter blueberry. And then you definitely get that like muffin or pancakey note to it. This is really good and it's very strong. I just got these last night, you guys, by the way. This one is Cafe Mocha. These are pretty good clamshells. They're not flimsy. These are thicker clamshells. So they are, you can tell these ones aren't going to warp easy. They're, they're pretty, pretty good. Mmm. Okay, so his Cafe Mocha, look how shiny it is, you guys. <laughs> that Cafe Mocha. This is a little more, it smells more like hot chocolate with like the accent of maybe like cappuccino it's not real strong coffee you get a light accent of it but it's more of a nice hot cocoa it is not tootsie roll cup chocolate smell this is like instant like nesquik kind of cocoa smell then we have cotton candy beautiful pink love it beautiful pink Nate, I will tell you that being um, a cotton candy connoisseur freak like I am, that maybe when you get a little more into um, blending color and stuff like that, maybe when you make your cotton candy, add um, add so add a little bit of strawberry to it and a little extra like vanilla to the cotton candy oil, and then blend a little bit of swirls of blue and purple through it. Make it look like cotton candy clouds. This is a good cotton candy. So this is kind of a light to medium cotton candy. These have not cured. And I'm sure when they cure, they'll be even stronger. These have all been powerhouse strong. This one is, cotton candy is a lighter set anyways. But this is lighter. But this is not that fruity one. This, you can tell, is that vanilla-based spun sugar cotton candy. It is very good. And I can tell when that cures, that's going to be very, very good. Come on. Okay. The next one, which is my favorite out of these, is watermelon. One, let's talk about this freaking pink for this watermelon. Let's talk about it. This is a very vibrant, beautiful pink. Oh, my God. I can already smell that watermelon. So this is another one that when you barely pop it, you get that smell. You smell what it is. Oh my God. Okay. So this is not that funky, tart, Jolly Rancher watermelon. It's not that salt water taffy watermelon. This is a little bit more realistic. This is that watery, sweet, pulpy watermelon. Yeah, that's what this is. Just like a little bit of an underripe melon. But it's so good and so strong, you guys. I'm just blown away that this kid's wax is so freaking good. And then we have the last clam, which is brown sugar cookie. Smell it as soon as it popped. Oh. Okay, so this is a creamy brown sugar dominant sugar cookie. This is not your average sugar cookie. This is more of a brown sugar dominant sugar cookie. Boy, you can smell that brown sugar. That brown sugar almost takes on a toffee caramel note. Oh, and then you get that sweet vanilla and you get like a tad of salt, just a pinch of salt. And then that cookie dough-ish type smell, but it's not like dough dough. It's more like a soft baked cookie. So this is another really good one. And then we, I talked to him about the bags that he needs to get. I will be rebagging this today. But this was another free sample. This was in his blueberry muffin. I will be rebagging, like I said. Because I explained to him that polypropylene bags are what is safe for wax. That these bags suck the scent out. Okay, so this was in his 
plain blueberry muffin and he sent three of the little smiley guys. It smells like these ones the scent might have gotten sucked out of. I'll rebag right now and um, let him cure for a little while because he could have also just freshly poured those. I'm trying to find my bags. I was just making Happy Mail yesterday. Here they are. So, <laughs> a lot of my bags aren't where they're supposed to be right now. But that was my haul from Life Road, you guys. He did a really good job, and I am so excited to let these cure and melt them. Um, and I will come back and do an independent warm review on this kid, um, on this company. Um, Nate, thank you so very much. See, poly bag. Thank you so much for letting me, giving me that opportunity to be one of your first customers or well, your first customer that is not family um, and try your wax out. I'm super ecstatic. I can tell you this right now that this will not be my um, only order. I will be ordering again once I start melting some of these so that I can get a better um, judgment of all your other scents you offer, you guys. He offers so, so many scents. He's got a lot of different scent lists which is super, super cool to me um, that he has so many fragrance oils already. So give him a shout and check him out. Life Road Candles um, on Instagram, or you can also contact him to place your order at Nate Berry. Just let him know that Ninja Mom or Veronica sent you his way um, to try out his products. Bye. Please everybody like, share, subscribe, and comment below.